Listen to this. Like a rattle going on in there, like a loose, something's loose, maybe a bad bearing. This isn't that old. And you really can't go higher than that because it won't turn off, so I gotta lower it. which is, you know, only about 68 PSI. Let's try and get this to turn on again and you can hear the noise. Here we have a Grunfoss CMBE pump. Uh, I took it out of service because it was making this rattling noise and basically I took off this pressure tank and inside of this is the check valve got this spring and plunger but when I took this off what was going on was these little things were rattling around in there and I'm wondering what are these things well they're actually fins to one of the stacks so here is uh, a replacement stack and you can see in here those inside of this little groove here are fins that are welded and that moves the water so these little things here are some of the blades that go inside right there so we're going to take this apart and see which stack is messed up and let Grunfoss know all right so to dismantle this we got to take these four allen head bolts off they hold the the pump housing together with the stack in it we take these four bolts out, one, two, three, four, on this side, two on this side, two on this side. Okay, with these four bolts out, this plate comes off, and this comes off the main housing. Okay, with these four bolts removed and the cast iron bracket removed, this just slides up. Now it was a little difficult and I had to put a screwdriver in and twist to kind of break it free. But then this pulls off the stack and here you have the impeller stack. Still can't see which thing is broken so we got to take this nut off and then the whole stack will come apart. Alright to take off these nuts to loosen the stack we take off this top one and Get a 5 eighths to hold the bottom nut and a 9 sixteenths to hold the top nut and loosen that. Alright, with that cracked loose, this comes off, this washer. Try to keep everything stacked how it should go. This nut is actually just a spacer. And this top stack can come off. We'll look at these fins. Doesn't look like any of these ones are broken in particularly. Look at these fins. Ooh, that just got some dirt in it. There. No, it's a. Oh, those look okay. Okay, that one. This guy. Let's take this ring off. Take out this next stack. Some metal fell out of there. Ooh. I'll delve deeper. All right. Well, it seems as though this last. Plate should be maybe welded together with some of those teeth. Um, 
This looks like that's been wobbling around in there and bored itself out. Yeah, that doesn't look right. That shouldn't be oblong like that. And this piece of metal here doesn't look right. And with the spring. Yeah, look at this. This center thing came off. So it's missing some pins. I don't know where those went. Maybe they're in the filter system, but yep, looks funky uppy. All right, so looking at this current stack compared to the old stack, this came off of this pump. Both of these center things are missing compared to these ones from an old pump. So it looks like it just, just wore out, wore off, caused some teeth to fail. So FYI, these are all the bad pieces from the pump. This is supposed to be part of this. And a spring goes on here, and then this goes on top of that. This is supposed to be attached to that, so that part got worn out. This is supposed to be together with all those little blady fins that go into it. And this just got bored out from the... This is supposed to be part of that. And then all the blades go inside of here. And this just has been wobbling around in there. So, uh, yeah, these parts were all bad in the pump. It's uh, the bottom of the stack.